Hello everyone welcome to the world of chemistry today we are going to gain some knowledge on separating mixtures and its different methods those who have already seen my previous videos of this chapter must know what are mixtures and its different types so without wasting time let's see the different methods of separating mixtures but before that we need to know the meaning of the word separation separation means removal of substances from a mixture of two or more substances for example we are separating stones from rice in this there are two substances that is stones and rice and we can separate it by using different methods of separation next example is separating tea from tea leaves churning milk to obtain butter now the question arises is why do we separate mixtures or substances we do it to obtain two different but useful components for example we have taken sugar solution and we need to separate it we can easily do the separation by following the method and we can get back two useful components we separate substances to remove non useful components suppose we have taken a mixture of iron and heap of waste materials from that we can separate the iron particles and we can remove the heap of waste materials that is non useful components we separate substances to remove impurities or harmful components for example separating pebbles or stones from rice we separate substances to group substances of different sizes as well now what are the different ways of separating mixtures let's check it out students there are many methods out of which we are going to read about hand picking winnowing sieving magnetic separation filtration evaporation sedimentation and decantation distillation fractional distillation sublimation separating funnel and chromatography so let's check it out one by one the first method is hand picking in this the components of a solid solid mixture can be separated by hand picking we can separate the mixture of the particles which are solid only this is the only useful when the particles are large enough to be seen clearly we can use this method for separating only when we can see the different components of the mixtures properly it is the most commonly used method of separation for example separating pebbles from rice or dal separating grass from mint leaves separating parts of a salad so let's see the method in this you can see the lady is separating pebbles from rice the next method is winnowing in this the process of separating light solid particles like husk from heavier solids such as wheat or rice grains the mixture is dropped slowly from a height in the presence of wind this method you can see in this example the heavy particles drop almost vertically and the lighter particles are carried some distance away by the wind hence two different heaps of light and heavy particles are formed in this example you can see it let's see the method in this you can see the man is following this method and the heavy seed crumbs are just what dropping vertically down near his leg and the lighter husk particles are carried some distance away by the wind the next method of separation is sieving it is used to separate minute particles of different size 
passing it through a sieve. The different sized sieves are used to separate different types of mixture containing minute particles. Sieve is a device which contains tiny holes and separates the wanted elements from the unwanted material. Students, you must have seen this method followed by your mother in the kitchen and you must have also seen this method of separation followed by the workers who are making home they separate the stones or separate the sand from these stones and pebbles and also for making road let's see the method see in this the wanted particles are passed through the sieve and the unwanted impurities are left behind the next method of separation is magnetic separation. Magnets attract certain types of metals, for example, iron and nickel. We can use magnetic separation if we want to separate mixtures that consist of magnetic materials and substances that are not magnetic. But students remember that all metals are not magnetic in nature for example gold silver aluminium these are non-magnetic magnetic separation method is used in the recycling industry to separate waste materials that are magnetic let's see the method in this you can see the iron particles are being separated from the salt by the use of magnet. The next method of separation is filtration. In this the process is followed in which we can separate the fine insoluble solid particles from a heterogeneous mixture by using a porous barrier called the filter paper in this arrangement you can see filter paper has been taken inside the funnel and the method is followed the fine insoluble solid left on the filter paper is known as residue so residue will be present here next the clear liquid collected in a beaker is called filtrate Example, separating tea from the tea leaves by using a strainer. Let's see the example. You can see in this, the boy is separating mud solution. The mud particles or the soil particles have been trapped in the filter paper which is known as residue and the clear liquid has been passed through it which is known as filtrate. The next method of separation is evaporation. In this, allowing the liquid to evaporate, leaving the soluble solid behind. Example, heating sugar water or salt water. The water evaporates and the sugar crystals or the salt crystals are left behind. In this arrangement, you can see evaporating dish has been taken in which the salt solution has been taken. As soon as we provide heat by the help of Bunsen burner, the water evaporates into the atmosphere, leaving behind the salt particles. We can see the method. In this you see when the water is heated it is evaporated leaving behind the salt particles the students I hope up to this you have understood